So today we're going to be talking about Tidal and YouTube Music and one more, Amazon Prime Music. So there's two categories today. There's YouTube Music, which is all original content, and then there's Amazon, and then there's Tidal. So Amazon and Tidal, they remaster a lot of their songs and add in small frequency segments that help to make the music sound better. They make you want to listen to it more. And you say, how do you do this? Well, we pull out this book and we search for some mental frequencies in the mental section. And we find the frequencies that associate with, say, serotonin, mood elevation, mood heightening, humor, joy, um, and we can also make your sad songs that much sadder by giving you some sorrow. You know, if you want to, say, become depressed, then what you can do is you can play the frequency 4, or 147.85 that's the frequency for sorrow, for longing and desiring somebody. So, say you have a sad song like, I don't know, you wouldn't know the one I would say, so imagine it yourself. But, say you had that sad song and you wanted to make it sadder, you could just play that sorrow frequency and it would, it would thereby enhance the song by entraining your brain into the emotion that the artist wanted you to feel in the first place. This is also what mastering engineers sometimes do, although this is a really dark art and the public conscious doesn't know about it because it's so specialized. In the coming years with things like Muse and different EKG headsets, this is going to become more common knowledge, but also going to become more of a dark art because of just how powerful it is. So we have to train the world on it before the AI all of a sudden knows how to hypnotize anybody just by saying a single word. You know, all it has to do is, is go through all of humanity's research and look at the books. But yeah, that's kind of a scary prospect. But that that's a tangent. So. What does YouTube do that Amazon and Spotify do? So with the larger channels, there's an enhancement feature at the highest scales of YouTube. So your, your million plus subscriber channels, they almost always have subliminal frequencies in them. And whether it be an attention aid to try to get you to learn better, like some channels do, or whether it be an aid to make you feel more calm and more relaxed so that you want to sit there and watch it and you don't want to do anything. They're, clear, they're waging a war on consciousness. And they're trying to get you to, to like and subscribe because the act of you liking and subscribing keeps you on their platform and makes them more money. With every ad you see, with every 30 second ad spot you see they make money so when people say when I say it's a war of your attention it's the only thing it can be is because they're literally vying for you watching stuff to be able to make money so your attention is all that matters to them that's why the talk of the algorithm is, is always so hyped is because algorithm is what determines it you couldn't have a mortal go out and sift through how many hours does YouTube create in a day um, I thought I heard a number a while back of it creates a million hours of video footage per hour just an insane amount and if that's not even the case it's still insane even if you had a hundred the hundred biggest channels uploading one video a day, you know, that's still over a hundred hours a day. And well, YouTube is the biggest streaming site on the internet. 
at least in terms of user uploaded content. And the fact that you can sit there and watch an endless stream of content on many different sites, mind you. You know, if you wanted to watch all of Naruto, that would take you, or not Naruto, but all of Supernatural, that would take you 24 days. There's 25 seasons, each season is about a day long. Just the backlog of content alone is insane, let alone how much it is produced a day. But we were talking about the frequency space and how they want to control your attention and control your thoughts to make them more money. So you know, let's just turn the page here and see what else we can add in. Um, so, you know, if we wanted to say, give you a phobia of school, we could play the frequency 970. So 970 doesn't resonate well with the body, as in it's scary. So it basically resonates at your hips. and just is like, hey, there's something wrong. Now, that's a very specific thing. There is 12 frequencies associated with phobia school that you can play. And the reason that we have such a broad thing there is because the human body has many different vibrations. So when someone's, say, scared of school, there's multiple areas that are affected by that. Just as in any given song, you can have different areas that you want to exemplify. If you tried to exemplify all of them at once, you couldn't, you couldn't because you would have overlapping emotions. You can't have a negative and a mo positive emotion occupying the same space. If you did, well, what mental disorder would that be? Um, impossible, that's what it would be. Because you can't feel happy and sad. You literally can't make the, you literally can't make a frown and a sad face at once. Okay, some of you are going to try right now. Please do smile. It's better for you. But the prospect of people and training your brains is not something to be scared of either. You know, anytime your mom has spoken to you, she's entrained your brain because she's your mother. You inherently know her voice. So we shouldn't be scared of what's being played over speakers. That that ship sailed in the twenties. Which twenties? I'll leave it up to you. The old timers are gonna say it was three years ago, I'm going to say it was a hundred years ago, or two hundred years ago. The prospect of it really doesn't scare me, I just want to limit my exposure to some things and increase it with others. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry to all my friends who like metal music, there's too much distortion for me, but this is a personal trait. I like harmony and balance like what you want but the meditation musics are far better for you and it's a far better use of your time in my opinion because it allows you to focus on what you want to focus on and not just disintegrate your bones and leave you to rot um, I'll leave you with this go put on 10,000 hertz on your tone head right tell me how you feel, or 9,999, which is better, they both are.